Mohan Racing, back after Christmas, talking a little brap, a little rotary. So this is a fairly simple video, very one topic oriented, and we're going to talk about rear counterweights, specifically aftermarket rear counterweights for rotary engines. Um, you know, this kind of came through Mazda Tricks. And uh, it's a customer project. Everything's kind of laid out. We're just doing some cleanup. We're not building it. The customer's building it. And uh, we were just uh, checking the balance and making sure everything was going to function correctly for this customer as he puts the motor together. And we found this really interesting. Um, ACT makes aftermarket counterweights. We've known this for a while. Um, we haven't delved into them very much. Personally, I'm always excited to see any aftermarket company making OEM replacement or some type of aftermarket part for rotaries, rotary engines. So this is cool. And I think they make uh, three or four different weights. Um, but what we found out, and this is by no means hating on the company or anything, um, still very happy that these are available, especially with Mazda, you know, sometimes not having availability. But let it be known, you absolutely have to balance these rear counterweights to your rotors. Even though ACT did a pretty good job um, getting the weights close, our balancer had to put a massive amount of material, both heavy metal Mallory and then still an additional chunk of heavy metal on the back. Um, and this is an external counterweight, so yeah, that's a little chunky looking. I don't want to hear about it. Um, it's outside the motor. Functionality's fine. I, you know, if it was mine, I'd probably tell them to use all internal heavy metal, but I think he was trying to save a couple bucks for the customer. But either way, it's all about getting the balance right, not about how pretty the counterweight is. Um, you can always pay for more for prettier counterweights. But uh, the point of this is, is this ACT counterweight was far enough off, it would have caused problems for the motor to run at high RPM for long periods of time. Um, eventually, when you do have mismatched counterweights or rotors, that can cause bearing issues. It's not an immediate bearing failure like uh, some people think. I mean, the motor probably would have ran a very long time, but when you're talking about reliability, when you're talking about longevity of rotaries, everything's important. And if you've got a thumper in the back of the motor, something that's slapping bearings and causing a vibration, you know, that's not what you want. You want smooth balance rotaries are all about smooth so you know very cool that act's got these aftermarket counterweights they've been out for a while um i would use them if that's what your option is but um from what we have seen not only in this motor but a couple others um you absolutely have to rebalance these for your rotating assembly which all right so i guess uh that's a wrap Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have questions. We have more videos coming. This was just one that, uh, you know, like I said, I could talk about it. It was right here on the bench. And I felt like it was good information for the rotary community. So we're going to wrap on out of here. And uh, I hope everybody's having a great week. Thanks for watching.